Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to Photogra uh, Photoshop Interest Group at Heartbeat. Uh, last, last week we finished our Zoom training session and I also have uh, almost immediately released the note, video note 1 to show you how to uh, convert this picture, this original photo from with a object and a background into a divided into a background photo without the object and then separately we have the object so these two object and background are together equal to the original photo uh, 就是它的背景背景没有那个主体的背景另外一个就是没有背景的主体那两个加起来就变成原来的照片今天我们来谈没有了主题的背景如何去修改它 Today we talk about how to change this Now there are, there are a few uh, three things basically as to what we can do Number one, we will use the background photo to reduce the brightness or increase the brightness using a curve layer. Number two, how to change the color. And then number three, most important, how to use a, how to blur the background in a proper way using tube blur. Okay. Now let's start with a curve layer. To do a curve layer, come here using the layer choice here, click and we go to curve. Okay, we can create a curve. Now we can create a curve. In this curve, we can create a curve. 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 Okay, we can open the eyes. Look at this. 所以是这样很简单的因为我们现在是选择在这一个图层所以我们操作的时候只有这个图层受影响上下找到你认为适合的暗度压按它到这里差不多可以了你喜欢这样我们就停在那边 Find the level of brightness that you want Pull it up and down There's no such thing as right or wrong level up to your liking. Okay, this is uh, brightness. This is very simple, right? So, next one, I can create another layer. Come back to this choice again. Create a layer. This time, I use, I can do a saturation, hue saturation. Okay. Now, you can see, move left and right. Okay. You can see. 有点增加到一点红色或者蓝色或者增加蓝色越来越多比如说这个是我们要的 okay, You change the color Now, how to do black and white color background You can do a black You can do a background black and white by moving the saturation to zero Move to Okay, this is the black and white Remember, saturation zero equal to no color and then you can brighten it, darken it on the black one. So only three sliders for you to do. Okay, let's let's choose some color back still. Maybe a bit of blue. You can increase it to very blue. Okay, so two two type. Now number three type is what is also very commonly used in order not to uh, mix up with this uh, i will create a new layer here based on the based on this background to create a new layer come here Control j Control j okay now it's copy three move it up here move it up here so whatever below is is not seen already okay
while you are here go to filter blur gallery and choose tilt shift now tilt shift will come you come to this this uh, uh you will see this uh a circle in the middle and then two solid line and two dotted line this center point represent a point of no blur zero blur so i would position the zero blur here remember the two between the two solid line no blur so my original position of this object is start from here okay so by doing so no blur here you can of course and increase it up to here no blur and between the solid line and the dotted line is uh, uh, is, is a zone of we call it feathering okay now right now your blur level is set at uh, let's say let's say 30 yeah? 3 0 assuming eh? so basically at this line we have zero blur and then you move up it gradually increase to 30 up to here is fully blur at the level you choose above it 100 percent blur at 31 okay so here is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 all the way to 31 and then 31 31 31 all the way through so you can choose the level of blur now i want to increase this one to just show the effect okay if this is very blur at 100 if i move this one up you can see 0 to 100 if you move it down 0 to 100 very fast then the rest are 100 okay so normally what you do is you just choose it somewhere here and then uh, you play with the blur level find a level you feel comfortable okay把那个那个虚线推上去一点一到到到到到一个通常你放在中间线哦然后你就你就你就改变你的那个blur的level要你要增加多少的blur okay this one is almost like f2.8 okay remember when i started off it was like f4 now f2.8 if you have a f1.2 or something you maybe you can reach here like that okay so how nice without buying the expensive lens you can change the blur you can change the lens aperture okay i would think this is quite okay here okay to color. 选好之后你就，OK。如果你还要再压暗一点， okay. okay, you want to darken a little bit, use here, add a layer, curve again, okay, bring the curve down. Okay, so you have blur and dark together. Now remember. After you do this one, you apply here, right? But actually, no. If you if you do this darkening, it applies to everything all below here. It's just that you, it is blocked by this one. You cannot see. So in order to dedicate this uh, darkness to only the the the, the copy tree uh, photo, okay, you can choose to clip together. This is called a clipper. You clip this adjustment. So it will apply to this one only, to this picture only. So remember, I have two. I have two background picture. One is doing the brightness and the color. The other one is use it for only the blur. Okay. So it's done. So we have covered three. Yeah. Come back again. I will come back. Starting from here again. The 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 first one, and I add the curve. The curve is bringing you bright and dark and then next i add the color this color is saturation i can change into any color i want okay then, then number three i come back to the original now i add the blur this is the blur i have done the blur the blur is not done at the layer level it's done at the top menu here filter uh, blur gallery okay and two shift so three major changes to your background
Okay, so that is the end of the note 2. Thanks for joining.